Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about multiplying radicals with more than one term. So here are the steps in multiplying radical expressions with more than one term. So first step is we're going to apply distributive property to remove the parentheses. Second step is for us to combine like terms. Third step is we're going to simplify the result whenever possible. So let's proceed to our example. Okay, so for example, we're given this expression. So in order for us to simplify this, okay, we're going to apply distributive property. So we're going to multiply square root of 3 to each of the terms. Okay, so we will multiply square root of 3 times square root of 15. That will be equal to square root of 45. So next, we're going to multiply square root of 3 times the times negative 5 square root of 6. So we're going to have negative 5 square root of equal to 18. Ayan. So next is for us to simplify each term. So let's simplify. So what's the square root of 45? So we have square root of, let's factor 45. We will get 5 times 3 squared. For the second term, we have negative 5. Let's factor 18. We will get 3 squared times 2. So let's simplify each term. So what's the square root of 3 squared? That is going to be equal to 3. Square root of 5 will be square root of 5. Minus 5. And here, let's simplify. The square root of 3 squared will be, um, will be 3. And then the square root of 2 is square root of 2. Now, please take note that the operation between 5 and the radical symbol is multiplication. Therefore, we're going to multiply negative 5 and 3. So, let's simplify. We have 3 square root of 5. Negative 5 times 3, that will be negative 15. And then, we will have square root of 2. So, our final answer will be 3 square root of 5 minus 15 square root of 2. We cannot combine them because they have different radicals. Okay? Okay, so let's have another example. For example, we're given this. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is to apply distributive property. So we're going to distribute 2 square root of 2 to each term. Multiply 2 square root of 2 to each term. Okay, so for the first term and for the last term. So we have 2 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 8. So we're going to multiply coefficient by coefficient, radicand by the radicand. So 2 times 3, that will be equal to 6 square root of 2 times 8, that will be equal to 16. Plus 2 times 2, we will have 4 okay, square root of 36, that will be equal to 36. Now, we need to simplify the following, okay? Simplify each term whenever it is possible. So let's simplify. We will get 6. Um, the square root of 16 is 4. Plus 4 times the, what's the square root of 36? It will be equal to 6. So 6 times 4, that will be equal to 24 plus 24. So 24 plus 24, that will be equal to 40. Eight. And that will be our final answer. Okay, Okay. so let's have another example. In this case, we're going to have a binomial times a binomial. And if you're and in your grade 7 topic, if you're multiplying a binomial times a binomial, we're going to apply the FOIL method. So first, outer, inner, last. So we're going to multiply the first term by the first term, the outer and the inner, and then the last. Okay, so we're going to use the FOIL method. So first, okay, and first, so square root of 5 times square root of 3, that is square root of 15. Okay, next, the outer, square, um, square root of 5 times negative 3, that will be negative 3 square root of 5. Then the inner, we have 2 times square root of 3. That will be positive 2 square root of 3. And the last, which will be 2 times 
negative 3, that will be negative 6. Simplify if possible. If you look at each term, if we can still simplify our terms, and if we cannot simplify them, our final answer will be square root of 15 minus 3 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 3 minus 6. And that will be our final answer. Okay, so let's have an example. For example, we're given these two binomials being multiplied to each other. And so since we're multiplying binomials, we're going to use the FOIL method. So we're going to multiply the first term by the first term. So we will have square root of 5y times square root of 3y. That will be square root of 15y squared. Then we multiply the outer Okay, so we have square root of 5y times 4, that will be positive 4 square root of 5y, and then we multiply the inner. So 7 times square root of 3y, that will be positive 7 square root of 3y, and then we're going to multiply the last. Okay, and then we will have 7 times 4, that is equal to positive 28. Now let's simplify each term knowing that the first term we can still simplify this. Okay so what's the square root of y squared? That is y square root of 15 plus 4 square root of 5y. We cannot simplify this anymore. Plus 7 square root of 3y. We cannot simplify this anymore. Plus 28. And since we cannot combine them because they don't have or they don't share similar radicals, this will be our final answer. Okay? And now that you already know how to multiply radicals with more than one term, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. That's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.